Hello, Oregon Trio, and welcome back from summer. This is Matt Bizek, the Executive Director, and I am here today with just some basic updates uh, for Oregon Trio to start off the school year. So, first and foremost, uh, I wanted to just highlight that the planning committees for the Professional Development Conference and our Student Leadership Conference have begun meeting, so if you have any interest in participating in those conversations or helping with the planning this year, you could just reply to this email, let me know, and I'll make sure you get on those committees and get participate uh, moving forward. Uh, I wanted to highlight two newer things that had come out during the summer. So all OTA membership programs have access to two new features. The first is a Canva Pro membership. So for every grant that you have, you can get access to one account that gives you access to the Canva Pro. So the link to register for these is gonna be in the email that uh, goes out along with this. Uh, but in short, you just kind of get access to the Oregon Trio Association team. Uh, and we're also going to be having some videos coming out with some tutorials and giving you tools about how to maximize uh, what Canva Pro has to offer. So you can make beautiful flyers and presentations and videos and all kinds of wonderful stuff. Uh, the second piece uh, that is new for members is this unallowable cost form. So obviously we know there are many things in which you are not allowed to spend grant funds on. Uh, and what we have done with OTA is taken a portion of the state funding we have and allocated $500 per grant to utilize for expenses that would traditionally be unallowable. So there is a form on the website, again, link in the email, that will allow you to kind of identify what it is you would like to use that $500 on to benefit your program. Uh, I kind of just collect that information and then we'll help facilitate the transactions for you so that way you don't have to go through your own institution uh, and that business office. So if you have any questions at all about some of these newer features, uh, feel free to reach out and ask. I'd be more than happy to elaborate on those. Uh, next, I wanted to just make sure I highlight it again. We have an OTA shared Google Drive. Now I understand some of you campuses are Microsoft now and using Google isn't always the most convenient thing, uh, but there is a singular kind of shared space in which we can just share documents, applications, policies, and procedures, a whole bunch of stuff. So I wanted to bring it up here today to both encourage people to, once again, go to our website and register for this if this is something that feels unfamiliar. There's about 50 folks who are in that shared drive right now. Uh, make sure you get it added in there. Uh, the second piece is for those who are in there, I want to encourage you to upload materials in there. Uh, the space only really becomes useful when people actively use it, put information in there that would be good resources and references. So uh, try to utilize that space. It's been in existence since after our conference in April, uh, and there hasn't been a ton of traction, although there is a decent amount of people in there. So I would love to see that as a resource, kind of just get utilized a bit more. Uh, the Final update I have for you related to OTA is our last mile scholarship awards. So fall awards have been sent out. Uh, the winter applications uh, are going to be due on November 18th. Now I'm not gonna open them until about mid-October around uh, the NAAP conference time so that I give you all about a month to notify students and help them apply. Uh, but just kind of want to put that on your radar in case you are wondering when the next uh, kind of timeline for the last mile would be coming up. Uh, with that, I, I don't really have too much else. I'm going to be at the COE conference as well as the NAMP conference that is in Eugene. So if you're going to be at either of those events, make sure you come over and say hi. Uh, I'm also going to be working to try to get to a lot of staff meetings uh, into fall and winter just so I can start meeting uh, more of the membership beyond just some of the directors. So I look forward to seeing all of you. I'm going to be starting to do more frequent updates now that we are back in the summer months and there's going to be a lot more happening uh, in the world of TRIO. So. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful start to the school year, uh, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.